Happy birthday stuff. It's from me, Knight Rider 7602 and I decided to do one of your favorite books, I guess, and that be Wicked. Now, anybody who's like, okay, what is this book about? Wicked is actually the Wizard of Oz. Before anybody goes, oh, we heard the story 10 billion times. We get the whole story. No, this is everything that happened, let's see, before we even meet Dorothy. This, like, happened, like, years, like a millennia ago, I think. Basically, this book is, like, about the life and time of the Wicked Witch of the West. Now, let's confuse myself, because there is the Wicked Witch of the East, North, South. Yes, well, apparently she was a tad bit misunderstood. Okay, okay, misunderstatement, misunderstandment. I mean, she wasn't really all that bad. I mean, technically, the story goes like this. Basically, it takes place in the land of Oz, the years leading to Dorothy's arrival. The centers on Ella Ferba, the, the green-skinned girl who grew up to come the Wicked Witch of the West. Well, oh, here's the, um, Ella Ferba. Yeah, I cannot pronounce that. But basically, the story is divided into three, no, wait, oh, five main sections. The Munchkin Landers. This is basically when um, Yelafaba was born, and her story, and apparently how everything got like crazy, and she was a punishment. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like really odd because she gets punished, and all already with her skin being green, the whole reason why the Wicked Witch of the West has those terribly sharp teeth. She, and also is terrified of water, because she was cursed. She was cursed. Then, her mother and father, you know, mother and father pro issues, and a friend named Turtleheart gives her the reflecting ball, you know, the crystal ball when she sees people, yeah. Well, when the husband was gone, Turtleheart and the mom Melina begins an affair. When the father returns... Mix friends with Turtle Heart, really totally oblivious to this fact, both out of un unearthed charity, yeah. Well, still, nobody knew what happened. Then we got N Nurasuso, Elifaba's younger sister, and we're come we're not sure if the father was the main one, Frex or Turtle Heart, Nerosa or Nessa for short. Is like peach, n peach as in our normal skin color, like white. Well, I'm not white, I'm black. As Elphaba is green, but more importantly, she is disabled. She is born with her arms. Hmm, I know a great mechanic, if you catch my drift. Well, next we go to Gilliken. It's the second part of the story. Basically, it's their time, it's the wicked Elphaba and Galinda's time. In like a university where they go into these lectures with a scientist goat but well what it happened was the goat was on a verge of the great discovery and he was killed but also there was also the um whole crush with Alpha Bug gets a crush on this munchkin kid named Ba B O Q. I don't know. I can't tell how to spell it or say it, but he has a crush on Galinda. Well, call, tall Galicanese, short Munchkinier. She tries to um, get a friendship with El Alpha Ba, but it will bring him closer to Galinda. However, he gets wrapped up in the cause of the two's problems. Between human and animals. Oh, humans and animals. Chaperone. Yes. Like I said, the goat gets killed. But then. But she is magic it. You know, witness was magic it into a stupor. As in a sleep. She falls asleep. And apparently. They. Glinda throws herself into studies. And she studies in this. In the science of sorcery. Anybody know that's like magic and witchcraft and all that crap? But anyway, I'm Christian, so that's why I say crap. 
Anyways, a little bug becomes close friend with Bog, and, her, and his crush on Galinda subsided. They become friends with a prince named Fragro, a quiet boy who speaks English but draws attention to his strange customs and patterns the do blue diamond tattoos all across his body. Neither the Shiz, Alpha, the sister, Narissa, who's called up to Shiz. Uh, apparently, all in all, they tried to. The Wicked Witch of the West, Alphaba, and Glinda travel to the Emerald City so they can meet Mr. Oz. You know, the guy, the big tall dude in the head. Then we got the City of Emeralds, and it's actually been time ever since this past. So they live in the Emerald City now, and they're trying to help free animals to get rid of the Wizard of Oz. And. And I, then the prince comes and tries to settle business while Elphaba is praying to the likeness of St. Galinda. Fire follows them home when they reconnect, discovered that. And he discovers that they started to take up magic, and thus, thus has been taken a class in sorcery. Galinda is now a sorceress, and now that I mean, Miss Elphaba, she and Fire go begin an illicit love affair, and neglects his wife, Sim Sarema, and his children, Erek, Nema, and Nor. Two lovers are at peace, deciding their conflict personalities. Elphaba is actually happy with her life for once, but her life changes when she can fulfill her task to kill Madame Warble. Fire will follow her, who cannot complete the task due to the group of children interfering with Elphaba's line of fire. She returns to her apartment to wait for her with a gale force to wizard secret police who are looking for Elphaba to attack them. He's kidnapped all away and murdered. Yeah, that sucks for him. Elphaba escapes from the city and rushes into a monastery. Elder woman named Yakul, formerly dating the philosophy club, takes on the now homeless Elphaba and turn mute from grief after fire with murder and So yeah, that really sucks. And then we got in the Vinicus. So she's living like a nun, basically. And she has no relation to this guy named Lier. I think that is Oh yeah, that is her that's um that's her um lover's um, wife, son, and she tells the wife about the affair, she doesn't, but the wife is, like, having no, like, crap of it, she's like, you, I don't really know about you, so apparently she gets upset, the family starts falling apart, Then it explains that the soldiers are staying in the house to make everyone in town leave, and finally we get, um, the murder in its afterlife. So you had a storm. And basically, a house fell on Nessa. Get it? Guess what? Guess guess who fell on the Nessa? Dorothy! She fell on Nessa. Yeah, so basically... <laughs> it's pretty dumb, though, because uh, this kind of sees, like... It's a little deeper into the story... And we find out that the witch is named Nessa, and the house just fell on her. Wow. But I say, all in all, this was a great book. I can't get into more of it, because I'm feeling like I'm running out of time. So, all in all, Wicked seemed to be an interesting book. I mean, so many things happened before Dorothy came through the door, or fell. Get it? Fell on the witch. Yeah. That just started like a whole chain reaction. I just now remember that. This started a whole chain reaction. She fell on the witch. Witch of the West is pissed off. The good witch is like, yay! Da, 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 da. Munchkins are so happy. Yellowbrick Road, Scarecrow, uh, needs a brain. The lion needs a. The lion needs courage. The tin man needs a heart. Which is kind. I find kind of odd because it's a. Because the Tin Man, so Tin Man don't have heart, excluding Al from Full Metal Alchemist. But also, there are there were a few hints onto my next anime review. Do you, you know the whole mechanic thing with the arms? And I just said Alphonse. And so basically, my next anime review is on F M A Full Metal Alchemist. So for me, Knight Rider 7602 signing off. And as a friend staff, I wish you a happy birthday.
have fun in Disney World oh and one more thing don't be safe don't get drunk